Is catnip secretly OP? I want to know what you think. Let's hear it in the comments below before this video starts. Jeff on YouTube brought this to my attention. There is a combo in catnip to make him special. Broad waist guard plus catnip equals more DPS than any weapon in the game. Then fitness guide, max increase my HP, double healing plus more DPS damage, adding HE fill for more range. Exobracer and energy cube help too. Base cast, please can you test this out in a video? And here we go, we have catnips and we have equipped the broad waist guard and as you see, it has two skills right here. Radiation pulses one time when healing, dealing damage proportionate to HP healed and all radiation pulse damage doubled. Catnips has an exclusive skill called Medidrone that releases a healing zone around your survivor. So each time we stand inside that zone and heal, the broad waist guard will release radiation pulses. And in addition, we have equipped the red katana. As you see, the red katana has a legendary skill that says blade wave heals for 3% HP when enemy is hit. We're gonna get a lot of radiation pulses going. Here's the daily challenge. More surprises. Choose two skills on each level up and no retreat. Mobs don't flinch. They will not be affected by knockback. Back. Here's the Medi Drone. Let's grab it. And as you see, each time we heal, radiation pulses pulse off of catnips. I'm going to grab type B Drone right now. And let's grab the Medi Drone. Increase the size of the healing zone right there. Each time the katana hits the enemy, we will heal. And that will unleash a radiation pulse. And here comes an elite. Let's get it. We just wiped it out. Zombies are incoming at the one minute mark. And check this out. They have guns. Look at all of these bullets coming our way. We are taking damage, though. We really do need to heal. We actually need to use the healing effect here. Let's to run because we are going to die. Maybe we can find a magnet or something. Nope, we can't, but you know what? Let's go take on the enemy. Let's go fight them. We have the katana. We just have to keep evading the bullets. Here comes the first boss at the two minute mark. Who's it going to be? It is the Papillon butterfly. Let's go get it. More Medi drone action, please. And let's grab the lightning emitter. I want to hit the boss here with one of our pulses. Can we get it? Can we get it? Come here, buddy. We have to get very close. Here we go. Let's heal. Let's get it with the radiation pulse. Come here. We got it. Let's grab HE field to expand and the range and let's get more katana as well as more medi drone and the energy cube right here we can decrease our cooldown we are getting approached by an elite let's go grab this chest and get out of here i want to get away from these fire breathing lizards before they kill us can we get this elite with the radiation pulse though let's grab this too we will also there we go we got it let's grab more he field to expand the size of our radiation pulses and everything else and there's the exo bracer with the exo bracer the healing zone will remain present for a longer duration i'll also grab Ronin Oyori and the fitness guide. In some cases, we heal by a percentage and here's the demon blade. And when we heal by a percentage, that means that it will scale up. So if we increase our HP, the radiation pulses can deal more damage. There we go. Let's grab the fitness guide and increase our HP by more by 60% right there. Let's just stand here and see if they can get close. See if we can deal damage with our radiation pulses. See how much damage we can deal. And it looks like they are getting pretty close here. We are hitting some of them with the pulses. Here comes another boss at the four minute mark. It is the rush your papillon butterfly it's going to try to rush us let's keep running we don't want to get hit there we go it rushed us let's try to get it with the radiation pulses there we need to get it near one of our healing zones come closer come closer come here okay it's right next to us it's right next to us and we got it can we grab this magnet before this elite approaches us let's grab type b drone here and we are really getting approached by this elite let's grab the exo bracer the healing zone will remain present for a longer duration why not grab the high power bullet and increase our attack by a percentage we killed the elite let's go open up this treasure chest and we have evolved the lightning emitter into the supercell we do have the red tech part for the supercell equipped so as you see the shock waves will travel a further distance the enemy is getting closer here they are getting closer so we can hit them with the radiation pulses they are actually dealing quite a considerable amount of damage they're dealing a good amount of damage here let's increase our hp by even more and deal even more damage look at the radiation pulses just constantly go off here constantly going off wiping the enemies out wiping out all of these mobs they really can't do anything against it let's grab the energy cube and decrease our cooldown by even more and grab the fitness guide these pulses are going to deal an insane amount of damage so check out these radiation pulses what do you guys think do you think catnips is secretly op do you think this is a really good combination to use with catnips the broad waist guard with catnips with whatever weapon you want to use i'm just using the katana today for fun but other weapons might be more effective who knows let's go collect some of this biofuel on the ground before the final boss there's a magnet up there we can go grab this magnet and there is the 
destroyer we have evolved both drones into the destroyer and there's the divine destroyer we evolved every drone we also freed up two weapon slots let's grab the drill shot i guess here comes the final boss at the six minute mark who's it going to be the papillon queen we are fighting against three different butterfly bosses today let's get the papillon queen with our radiation pulses come here we are wiping out this final boss we did it demon blade 55 percent divine destroyer 14 supercell 24 brick 6 and drill shot 1 now let's try it with the red void power weapon here's catnips with the red void power weapon and here's the medi drone here comes Annalie at the 30 second mark let's kill it and also let's grab the medi drone right there we're getting a lot of medi drones the void power weapon is of course an easier weapon to use on these type of chapters we can hide inside of the black holes and not take any damage and as you see those little hatchets cannot hit us and these bullets will not hit us inside of the black holes but once we stand outside of them we can get hit check that out let's grab he fuel to expand the size of the black holes and the healing zone here comes a boss at the two minute mark let's try to get it with the radiation pulses come here papillon butterfly oh no it's hitting us really hard we are hitting it with our radiation pulses we are getting close to it let's go hey don't do that we're chasing it we're just chasing it come closer get closer i want to hit you with these radiation pulses here comes an elite and these monsters that breathe fire let's trap him inside of the black holes we are taking damage though we did heal up a little bit there let's get this elite and these fire breathing lizards let's just wipe them out and open up this chest before they kill us what are we going to get from this chest one thing what will it be sports shoes we're faster now look at us we can run faster let's grab the fitness guy to increase our hp let's grab more high power bullet as well we need more he fuel we really need to expand the size of these black holes and the healing zone because look at these mobs we need to keep our distance these mobs all have range some of them have guns some of them are little laser towers here little energy laser towers whatever they are check out these radiation pulses maybe we can cut through the enemy like a hot butter knife so let's go let's try to get close to these mobs here and wipe them out with these pulses can we do it i think we're doing it the black holes are keeping us safe from these bullets while the radiation pulses are wiping out the enemies like a melee weapon here comes a boss at the four minute mark rusher papillon first one to get the bomb wins we got the bomb let's go let's get close to it before it rushes us okay once it crosses us it will get hit with the radiation pulses there we go there we go we got it here comes an elite let's capture this elite in our black hole there we go let's open up this chest right here we are getting five different things let's go let's grab this food in front of the elite and get it with the radiation pulse we killed it and we're opening up another chest here come more monsters what are we going to do we're going to get them with these radiation pulses as you see each time we heal catnips will just launch these radiation pulses out at the enemy let's get more he fuel we now have a five star he fuel passive skill and more fitness guide let's go these radiation pulses will deal more damage did you see all of those crits right there let's go deal more crits with the radiation pulses let's see can we get high crits i'm seeing three million let's get more fitness guide let's grab the energy cube to decrease our cooldown and grab the ammo thruster we have under one minute left let's go look at all of those crits i'm seeing crits near eight million there can we get even higher we need more crits we need more crits that was 21 million. I saw a crit for 21 million right there. And let's make the Inferno Bomb. Why not? Here's the final boss, the Papillon Queen. Let's try to stay inside of our healing zone. Try to kite them over here. We took a lot of damage there, though. I want to hit them with these radiation pulses, and we died. And we have revived. We are back. What's up? How do you like these radiation pulses? How much damage are we dealing to the final boss here with these pulses? I don't know, but we took it out. Void Power, 30%. Medi Drone, 1. Supercell, 20. Type A Drone, 32. Inferno Bomb, 18. And Brick. 1%. All right, guys, that does it for today. But before we go, I want to know what you think of Catnips and the Broadway Scarred. Let's hear it in the comments below. And thanks again to Jeff, YouTube, and Meowcat for bringing this to my attention. Smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.